Welcome to this non-restricted testing and evaluation video lecture course. And the course code is ME8097 for the regulation 2017. So in this, we will be studying about the radiography testing of the fifth unit. And the syllabus we have here in the fifth unit, that is in the radiography testing, the principles, the interaction of X-ray with matters, we'll be studying about the various imaging techniques, film and filmless techniques, uh, types, and uses of filters, uh, types of screens, and uh, geometric factors, inverse square law, characteristics of films, and that is grayness, density, speed, contrast, characteristic curves, penetrometers, types of penetrometers, exposure charts, radiography equivalence, and uh, we'll be studying about this fluoroscopy, zero radiography, computer radiography, and computer tomography. So coming to the introduction of this uh, non-destructive testing, that is uh, radiography, and this model presents information on the NDT methods of radiography inspection or radiography. This uh, testing uses penetrating radiation that is directed uh, towards a component. And these components stops uh, some of the radiation and the amount that is stopped or absorbed is affected by the material density and the difference in thickness. These differences uh, in absorption can be recorded on the film or electronically. So electromagnetic radiation. The radiation used in the radiography testing is uh, higher energy that is uh, of shorter wavelength version of the electromagnetic waves that we see every day. There is uh, visible light is in the same family as X-rays and gamma rays. So here you have this uh, shorter wavelength in the, this uh, diagram and high frequency shorter wavelength that is this ultraviolet X-rays and gamma rays uh, comes under this uh, high frequency short uh, wavelength and, and, and this long wavelength you have this radio waves, microwaves and infrared rays. So these have of low frequency. And uh, coming to the general principles of radiography, here you have the uh, test specimen that is to be tested uh, having a defect that is uh, uh, in between the X-ray source and the X-ray film. So this uh, test specimen will stop some of the radiation that is uh, thicker and more dense area will stop more of the radiation the film darkness will vary with the amount of radiation reaching the film through the test specimen. So the less exposure area will be indicated in this uh, uh, light diagram, I mean light uh, color and the more exposure area is indicated by this dark color. And this is the top view of this uh, developed film. So the energy of radiation that affects its uh, penetrating power. So higher energy radiations can penetrate thicker and uh, than more dense materials. So the radiation energy or exposure time must be controlled properly. Image the region of the interest. So here you have this uh, low energy radiation and here, this is the high energy radiation and this thin walled area is being highlighted here. So coming to the advantages of radiography and this technique is uh, not limited by material type or density and uh, assembled components can be inspected and you require only minimum uh, surface preparation and sensitive to changes in thickness, uh, like uh, I mean, this uh, radiography testing is very sensitive to changes in thickness, uh, corrosion, voids, cracks, and uh, material density changes. And both surface and sub 
surface defects can be detected by using this uh, radiography testing and you can maintain a permanent record of the inspection so coming to the disadvantages of uh, radiography many safety precautions for the use of uh, high intensity radiation is required and hours of technician training prior to the use uh, is required both sides of the samples uh, need to be assessed and orientation of equipment and flask can be critical and the flower depth determination is very impossible without additional angle exposures equipment cost is very expensive that is the initial cost is very expensive so coming to the applications of radiography testing this radiography testing is used to inspect most types of solid materials both ferrous and uh, non-ferrous and uh, alloys as well as non-metallic materials and composites it is used to inspect the condition and the proper placement of the components for liquid level measurement of seal components etc and uh, used to test the castings weldments and forgings uh, when there is a critical need to ensure that the object is free from uh, in, uh, internal flaws and this testing is well suited uh, for the inspection of semiconductor devices for the crack detection broken wires and uh, for unsolded con connections and for any foreign materials and misplaced components but other methods compared to this uh, are limited in ability to inspect semiconductor devices so this uh, uh, testing can be used for uh, uh, materials which are not uh, i mean been tested with other methods so with this we come to an end to this uh, introduction part and have a great day